Welcome to our very, very first live interview session. Live a lot. <laughs> Welcome to our very, very first online interview session with our favorite and dearest person, Prince Ramavarma. Applause, applause. Can you hear the applause? <laughs> and for all the people sitting at home will be applauding. So I need some I needed some kind of backup. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Barmanji. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. With all the names that people call you, with all the love that people call you, I'm sure everybody must be so excited uh, to see you in action. I mean, all of us are uh, seeing your uh, videos and all the updates through Music Box. But thank you so much uh, for doing this very first online interview. Yeah. Um, yeah. First for me, I've not done this in a very long time. And thanks to you, I get to brush up my interviewing skills. <laughs> How does it feel for you? Oh, it's first time for me also. <laughs> so thanks to the technology and thanks to this present uh -huh. situation. We're all able to stay connected. Otherwise, by this time around, we should have been in Dubai and uh, so many other places. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I was supposed to come to Dubai this time again, April 22, 23, like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're always, uh, I think most of us artists are, uh, we see the glass, uh, how do you say, half full rather than half. Yeah. So, yeah. it's a nice thing, right? That, that's what really makes us, uh, keeps us going because I think one of the worst hit uh, groups of people are artists who have uh, concerts, not only uh, singers, musicians, accompanists, uh, sound engineers, so many categories of people. Absolutely. But it's nice to see how the art community is really coming alive and you know, ev uh, everybody is kept involved. And uh, so I think this is, uh, this is a time when everybody is really appreciating artists much more. Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> The people in the medical service also, they are like in the front line of an army. Actually, even normally speaking, a doctor goes to this clinic, he will be exposed to so many people with so many kinds of infection. But normally we don't think of that. We go to the doctor, get cured and come. What he is or she is going through, we don't know. But now what they are doing and it's just unbelievable. Absolutely. I mean, everybody we, trying to... Uh, put their word across and uh, trying to clap mm. and everything but I think uh, no amount of uh, thanksgiving will be enough for these warriors yeah, so we here, can at least uh, give some relief uh, with music or comedy or something like make people laugh for some time <laughs> absolutely yeah. so how is your lockdown period going how is uh, uh, how is music keeping you so this I'm sure this must be the longest period that you've been at home um, uh, absolutely. Since uh, since 1995. Oh wow! Since 1995, I've never been in any one place for such a long time. Uh, it helps me look at things differently, which is the case with most of us. So I've been indulging myself because normally next week one teaching session would be there or concert would be there. So we keep going, keep going. So just for my own pleasure to indulge in some other things which we may not do on stage uh, in a concert. I've been indulging in that, uh, exploring other kinds of music which I like a lot, like Rabindranath Tagore's songs or Kishore Kumar song, which is my lifeblood, my breath, everything is full of Kishore Kumar. Then uh, some songs in other languages. Do you have any other songs left of Kishore Kumar's to be explored? <laughs> oh, so many, so many. Because he, he was so prolific and active till literally the last day of his life. So from 1970s till he died, it was just Kishore all the way. So, so much of uh, output was there. So it's not only Kishore, but the Greek songs and Iranian songs and Arabic songs and French songs. So from Greeks, from so many other countries, there are songs which I have been listening to passively from the time I was a child. Now I get the time to look up the lyrics and meaning and get more intimate with them. Right. And also explore a little bit of comedy. I have always been a big, big uh, addict of comedy. So it need not be, some people they like sophisticated British 
cerebral kind of british uh, dry humor yeah. some people like sarcastic dark humor some people like silly things or slapstick but for me any comedy i i like in any kind of comedy so from black and white slapstick with laurel and hardy and charlie chaplin from that time in fact uh, if we talk about our comedians uh, the, when jagadish sri kumar had the terrible terrible accident i feel whether uh, all malayalis whether we are male or female or young or old or hindu or christian or muslim rich poor it doesn't i think the single thing which would have pained and which continues to pain maximum number of malayalis i think would be uh, jagadish sri kumar getting that accident this such a, even if above the neck if we could just speak he could do something no that much of the ability he has and that person to be in the state is really but then we real and even now so many uh, forwards and comedy uh, when some news happens people make these memes mm. maximum image of news is jagadish sri kumar even now so mm. it's so unbelievable comedy i i put comedy first <laughs> so what about food hmm? food a food i yeah. <laughs> absolutely but food also at least some people are vegetarian some people are non vegetarian some people like italian or south indian or very very taste but comedy is probably the most universal thing and a person like mr bean because he doesn't use much language either it's physical comedy spread all over the world probably more than any other person food of course personally i buy for me food is number one then comedy then music i think comedy is the most undermined um, you know uh, branch of acting right i mean yeah. nowadays uh, artists are getting more respect especially like if you look at malayalam channels for example you know there are so many shows dedicated only for comedians and while that's nice to see you know such a wealth of talent and so many videos available on youtube Uh, which we really should sit and explore and i mean you have shown me some of the videos like rowan atkinson's uh, series mm-hmm. fabulous uh, uh, episodes and you don't get to see them on tv or you know easily available in uh, while all of these uh, new gen um, movies and everything that comes up on uh, netflix and amazon prime all of that is great but it's so nice to go revisiting into uh, these old comedies and these old videos mm-hmm. classic right Hey, also for the awards oscar and other awards always the dramatic actors they are given uh, priority while i see i'm not cutting down a crying movie but we all have so much pain or some bad things happening in our life it is very easy for some sad thing to trigger something inside us and move us to tears while it's a much bigger deal to make us forget our pain and just laugh for some time <laughs> so i feel number 1 should be comedians they only <laughs> so that applies for music as well right we say some songs you know that are that sound so painful i mean mm. it moves people in a different way you know some people find joy in that so in the, yeah. at the same time there are some ragams you know which really just just make your day like you just you just hear to like the kadda kutu kutu and then your day is done <laughs> yeah absolutely So, what is your take on that? You know, should we be listening to more of that, or how does that work? It's a very personal thing. It changes from person to person. You see, for example, uh, I am like addicted to Kishore Kumar. So, Kishore Kumar has sung so many sad songs, which are extraordinarily beautiful. Rafi, they were all sung. But sometimes, when I hear some of his musty, very upbeat songs, then I just cry like anything, missing that that life, you know, that it's gone. is like so i don't know but that remains so even the physical body goes but the body of work they left and that remains and continues to bring joy to so many people and so for me there is there are some people who say oh now i am in a mood to listen to hindustan uh, in a mood to listen to karnataka or sad for me anything i like i always like <clears throat> whether it's in food or music or it's not like today i am in a mood to hear or sing like this okay and then, yeah so there are things i like things i don't like mostly they remain same <laughs> oh yeah, that makes life easier you know mm-hmm. yeah, that makes life easier i say like um, you know there's some sort of a consistency in terms of yeah. you don't have to debate in your head you know what should i do today yeah. and you know uh, you uh, don't this is, over prepared uh, there's a typical 
a cliche thing called artistic temperament. So maybe you don't, you, when you approach them, you don't know today how they are going to be. Maybe they'll be friendly one day or indifferent the next day. For me, it's, maybe I'm not an artist there <laughs> because I'm always kind of the same. I have friends who know me for more than 30 years before I gave my first concert. And except becoming older and the hair graying and all that, otherwise I'm still the same. You know, it's not suddenly having sung here or gotten some award, it's that we don't grow horns or a tail. Or, so I think a lot of people weigh others the way they look at, you know, the general, uh, how would you say, how they look at people in general. So, you know, most, many people would have also judged you by those parameters, you know, but those yeah. are things that you can't help, that I can't help. Even if somebody is going to say the same thing 10 times over and over again, it's not going to change their views. So Absolutely. all we can do is, you know, like you said, <laughs> if, if those uh, if those things don't shake you, then just move on with life as it is, right? And those who really know you will definitely come to you. That's in Abhya. Because even uh, <laughs> career-wise, because of the equation between artists and Sabha secretaries, uh, we are, both need, need each other. But the equation has always been artists approaching the organizers saying, sir, please give me a chance. And they use the word actually chance. No? Ah, now we have a chance for them. Particularly in one particular location. <laughs> so, since I never uh, applied, I never got many concerts where you get concert only if you apply. Then, there would be some people who would say, oh, he's from the palace, so he's inaccessible, he's arrogant, whatever. Some people may say he's not competent. So many things. But after YouTube came, so much of my material is out there, whether it's performing or talking or teaching or veena. People can judge for themselves and they feel, okay, he's good. They, and enough number of people are feeling like that, they, they are calling me. That's enough. I mean, now, of course, because of Corona, we are all <laughs> not going anyway. But uh, generally speaking, that way, internet really changed my life. That now, last... Two, two, three weeks of the lockdown, I've been sitting at home and churning out these small, small, small videos. So I don't have a presence in Facebook or Instagram or any of these social platforms yet. Maybe I may start, I don't know. But uh, the YouTube videos, rather than just upload something of a concert or a class, these are videos I am making myself where some of them I'm addressing the viewers. So that's a kind of new thing for me. I have announced, uh, the organizers would request me, suppose I have a class, teaching session or a concert, they say, please put up a video and for the publicity. I have done few videos in the past, but this is nice. I'm, I, I don't know whom I'm addressing, but it's kind of a tangible, real presence when I talk. And I make all these videos on my phone, so I still haven't figured out where the camera is so it will look like i'm speaking like this uh, like that i'm not into the here webcam of course i can see hi <laughs> but it's it's nice to see your videos especially with the new challenge i think a lot of people have suddenly woken up from this slumber and everybody's uh, picking up uh, the 3940 ragas that you have uh, ah, <laughs> interesting and uh, really challenging i've still got my book I'm still writing it down because Music Box announced that till May 1. I mean, you have also put May. up till May 1. So I'm taking my own sweet time. Um, <laughs> some of my students have also attempted, and uh, it's nice, uh, especially with the songs that you have taught. Like uh, when they hear uh, the tune of Rama Rama and Radha, oh, this is in Dubai, really. And when they hear uh, the, Sorry. oh, this is Karnu. So those, when, you know, when we connect to the songs that we know, it's really nice. And then when you know the Ragas, it's really nice, and I think that's a that's that's one feeling that uh, all musicians should have. You know, like many of us, we are satisfied. Okay, I know ten kirtanams. I'm happy with what my knowledge. So you know, exploring more than more, and you know, trying to um, understand more ragams, trying to learn more songs. I, this is definitely the best time for all levels of musicians, right? Absolutely. And I I'm think the top one. Many musicians are, um, in fact, using this time uh, to do more presentations than learning. I'm not judging, no, it, but uh, that is great. That is fabulous. But you know, this time you'll never get back in your life, right? Two thumbs up. Right? <laughs> Actually, even normally, even normally, learning is number one. But this time, exactly as you said, the best. Even uh, younger people, uh, when 
I started learning in my, I'm speaking for myself only. I loved music, so I was learning. That's it. I never ever wanted to sing before anybody. Then uh, Dr. TV Gopalakshan, TV ji sir, he heard me sing in private. And then he said, oh, you are singing nicely, you must sing in public. So of course, the fact was that my family was not interested. But the equally important fact was that I was also not interested. <laughs> so I said, see, 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 I love that. I just sing for my pleasure. He said, it's a nice thing. If it's a nice thing, you should share. So you should let others also enjoy. That's how it started. But now uh, I find that the younger and younger and younger generation, it's like, Everything they learn is to be is for the sake of being presented in public. So if you know five songs means all the five songs you know will be out in public. <laughs> so there will be nothing more than what is visible in public. And this time, I feel till you are forty or even fifty, intake, 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 intake is the more than output can come. Of course, if we die young, then there is nothing we can do. But uh, the equation between intake and the output definitely intake is so much more. Otherwise, you yourself will feel bored. And suppose I know only five concerts, five songs, and I start singing those five songs again and again. And after some time, I myself will get fed up and bored. So then they get stunted. They don't know what to do. Either they go for some other form of music, or they take drugs or alcohol, or become depressed, or become mechanical, or bored. You know? But for us to keep alive our own passion, constant learning today morning i wake up and this evening when i sleep i should know something more than what i did this morning when i woke up and now because of the internet so much wealth of material is there you take just one swatran or one dyagaraja one dikshita just one carnatic composer itself so much material is available and uh, thanks to you, I think many of your followers and uh, students, they've all uh, gotten a few insights into uh, the compositions of Tyagaraja, where you share the details of the website. Oh, right. And uh, really, these are self-learning. The only thing you need is a bit of a spark from somebody, you know, that, because sometimes you don't know what to do. Right. So that's oh, nice. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all that. Now, yeah. talking about TVG, sir, the ever young, TV? the... Oh, <laughs> The ever dynamic TVG sir, you've you are bringing so many compositions of uh, his to life now, and uh, teaching us some of his beautiful compositions. What do you yeah. have to say about TVG sir? No, it's uh, I have known him from 1986, wow. and it is still uh, and I have heard his Ratipati Priya Kadanavatvudam Bihag three Tilanas I have heard. That's it. So from 1986 you are close to somebody then in 2019 you realize that there are around 30 40 songs are there which you have never heard so i was like my god how could you hide this <laughs> at, at all these years all these decades so then i said i want to hear you sing all these songs but he's composed and he's on his own uh, relaxed pace uh, so a few things, Ratipati Priya Tilana, Kadanavadulam, because he sang only, I heard. But uh, there are some Varnams, very good Varnams. There's one Varnam which is Till Charanam, it is in Shanamuva Priya. Okay. And Charanam is in Bihar. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it has, the Talam changes from 3 beats to 5 beats to 7 beats, the Talam Alika. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's something... You can't expect less from, uh, you know, uh, Mridangam Maestro. Uh, but uh, I, I, absolutely, it is not like any other piece composed by anybody. Oh, wow. So, just, just waiting to come out. But the most wonderful news is that now that he has started doing something about it, um, because of the coronavirus, now everything is on hold. But hopefully, this year itself, if not at least next year, uh, he's going to bring out a book with lyrics and notation and an audio recording of all his songs. Yay! That will be so much, much awaited. Wow, that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. I'm sure all of us will be looking forward to it because some of the Kritis which you have uh, introduced, like, you know, like if you didn't know uh, TV Jesus Kritis, how would we know? But now that we know a few of the gems like Shivanai and the Bihar, Shivanai. Bihar it just, uh, yeah. the minute you say Bihar, now honestly, the first thing that pops us is that, now that and especially the last bit, the, the signature TV style. <laughs> And that really strikes and it stays in your mind, you know. So it's like uh, T 
TVG's uh, the his presence and his uh, uh, his uh, aura is uh, you know it re it's really it really comes out through the Tillana and you know that's that's how you want to always place him in your mind. I, absolutely, <laughs> See, that's that's what the Tillana should do. You know, the, here at Tillana, you open a bottle of Coca Cola or a champagne, or something, psh, it comes out. So th that's what the Tillana should do. It should make us feel upbeat and feel like dancing. In fact, Tillana always comes at the end of a concert, last item. So we would have sung two and a half or three or three and a half hours. So that's the last. But then when we sing such Tillana, Stevie D says, Balamulli says, like we get, get energy, though we are expending energy. We get so much energy, like we can sing another four hours. <laughs> it, it gives us energy. It feels so upbeat. I absolutely love Tillanas, and uh, I mean, I've, I've told you this before. The Garuda Dani Tillana really changed my life. But uh, I mean, those uh, Tillanas really need little more of uh, light, don't you think? I mean, nowadays everybody's picking them up for. Uh, uh, you know, for various purposes, because obviously, because they're so upbeat, it's nice, you know, to uh, do a jam between dance and music, uh, singers and everything. But within the Carnatic uh, fraternity, I feel Tilanas need to get a little more light because we, pay, we give so much of importance for Ragam and uh, Ragam Tandam Palagi and everything else. And Tilana's like, okay, the last bit, oh, okay, now it's time to wrap up. Everybody's just standing up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, my student, Amrita Venkatesh. Now, maybe you would have seen during this lockdown, uh, a Tilana a day. Yes. Like that, she's been uploading one Tilana per day. And if you carefully go through the Tilanas, you'll find how much variety there is in Tilana itself. Like uh, Tanjavar Shankarayar, Swayatrinan, TVG, Raja Rao, or Lalburi Jaraman, or MD Ramanathan. Each one is different. It's not like Tilanas are all tak -tak -tak -tak, not like that. So even TVG says Tilana uh, when you know, Chandra Faust is there, which is really tough. And same TVG sir has made Tilang Tilana, which is really easy and very sweet. Uh, Balamuli sir also, uh, his Tilanas are so much range is there. But Shruti Bhedam Tilana, Gati Bhedam Tilana is there. Small, tight little Brindavani Tilana is there. So then very, very easily lovable uh, Ahir Bhairav Karanavatunam Puntalavraviya. So, so much variety for the same composer also in Tilana. Then Srimusar, but Srimusar Raja Rao, TVG sir, Balamuli sir, they're all Mridangam players. Ah. And that, uh, in Tamil, they call it Biru Biru, effervescent sir. Pada pada, no? <laughs> so, that oh, quality. <laughs> like this yeah, one. That, hmm? Like the soda bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, that, I think it should be there in Tilana. There are melodious, nice Tilana songs. So, they are nice sounding, but not, they don't do justice as a Tila. Now, I'm sure everybody loves uh, hearing you talk and, you know, my interruption in between. But I'm sure everybody is waiting to hear something, uh, if you would sing something. Uh, does this have a lag or is it in sync yeah, when we talk? Lag. lag so is... just enjoy. No, no, otherwise, we could have sung something together. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe you can sing and I can repeat if it's a Tilana, which I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did it, 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 did it,
and so on and so forth <laughs> nice <laughs> well, we're trying to do our best with uh, with the minimal lag that uh, that the uh, video call is yeah. <laughs> this is nice the last december uh, when i think reha had this margari concert and yes. all of you joined me on stage yeah, yeah oh not this december one know. year ago oh, time goes very fast yeah <laughs> last year last year april was the guru vandana <laughs> now we had one year over after that also yeah we had bhopalam tilana that time bhopalam yeah wow. spat tilana two, 291 <laughs> 291 people <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah we have the pictures and the memories popping up it's really nice all the teachers are remembering the beautiful compositions and uh, very nice <laughs> This year, really, we should have had uh, one more session in Dubai in April. Oh, no. But uh, next next year, Swartidmal, hopefully, uh, for the Swartidmal uh, uh, Memorial Day, we will have oh. something in Dubai, right? <laughs> so, now talking about, um, well, obviously, you've been to different, different uh, countries and uh, you've traveled far and wide and you've explored different uh, countries, you've explored different cuisines, you've explored different music. Now, you said this is the time that uh, you use utilizing to explore all the music uh, that uh, you've loved and you've listened and everything. Which are the main uh, the songs? I mean, some of them, yes, we've seen on uh, Music Box as well. Your uh, Greek song and the French. Oh, Greek song. Yeah. And that is, uh, I've chosen both the Greek and the French to suit the current times, where uh, in both they are aspiring to, uh, the French song is a tribute to liberty. So when we are locked up, we value liberty. And the Greek song, it's a kind of love song, which uh, paints a very, very bleak picture now. But they're saying better days will come, even for us. <laughs> so it's an optimistic somebody who has like not much idea about world music where do they start like how do i um, like i have i have zero idea about uh, any other kind of music other than my uh, you know local languages and regional languages sometimes i find it funny the accent or you know the tunes and everything how do i grow to liking these you know what are what are the things that will uh, or anybody who has zero exposure to different kinds of music you know Obviously, the YouTube is a big source, but you know, how do I collect gems? Like, for example, if uh, I see some of my friends, they're exploring cuisines from different countries, and you know, mm. that's such a nice thought. And you know, that, that is something because it's so easily available now, especially in like no. yeah. melting pot. And even India, yeah. for matter, even in Bangalore, yeah. and everywhere, no. you have yeah, no. <laughs> Not all, all kind of cuisines available, but we don't have that kind of a setup with music. Yeah. Uh, one, one easy thing, <laughs> it's not a nice thing, but very practical and easy thing. There is a website uh, run by a young, bright young gentleman called Karthik. The website is called Itwofs. I-T-W-O-F-S. Okay. Itwofs.com. Uh, what he has done is that he has compiled around more than 500 Indian film songs, the Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, Kannada, which are stolen from other songs. They are copy songs. <laughs> so, but the composers of the song or the music directors, it must be inspired. <laughs> yeah, inside, they'll call it inspired, but there are, some are just photocopied, directly stolen, cut and paste. 
So uh, if you go to itwops.com, that's a simple uh, one-stop location. <laughs> then you just listen to the original songs of these copies. That will already open several doors. Correct. Uh, for me, my good fortune was that my parents are big travelers. So my but many people are travelers, but they'll just go and come. But my father, when he was young, he that is before uh, CDs or cassette players were also invented. We had this long playing record, LP record. So my father, to whichever country he visited, he would buy a record of the local music. Oh, nice. Like from 1960, uh, from 1960s, 70s, that time. So once I started traveling, I developed the same habit. Oh. Uh, not just from that country, if I go to London or New York, some big metro, they will have uh, tower records and some big HMV house. Ah. A huge, big, uh, like Kinokunya, how it is for books. Okay. Same for music. Hmm. So there I go directly to the world music section. Then just browse and browse because I'll have very limited foreign exchange. <laughs> so what, uh, the same thing which happens now in Kinokunya. I'll have this little amount of money. Then there are 50,000 choices what to take. <laughs> so just this filtering out it takes a long time. And those days I had no way of checking about an artist. Just using instinct, just look at the series, read the back cover and pick up something. I've picked up a lot of uh, CDs which I have not liked also. <laughs> they just take up space and they are sitting in my house. <laughs> but <laughs> in between you find one Gugush or one Fairuz or one Chakrill. Some artists who have become like my, my blood and my breath and part of my life. But that is a process which started in 1980s. So 80s, 90s, so, the, so 40 years it's been happening. <laughs> But now, so many uh, artists whose voices have been such a uh, special presence in my life, whom I've never seen before, now I can find them singing that same song live on YouTube. Yeah. So it's so nice to see that person sing or play. Just so, 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 so amazing. But this itwops.com is a nice uh, location. I then we'll see so many of our revered composers, <laughs> how... Uh, not so revered they are. <laughs> also. You know, they get awards also. See, you get an award for best music director when you have stolen a tune, then somebody else should get the credit. No. So I feel we become big only if we give credit where it is due. See, when I'm teaching in class, I, I make a joke which MD Ramanathan made or Balamuli said made. After the joke, everyone laughs and says, Balamuli said made this joke. No. Even a joke, I'll give credit. Because now the tradition is the opposite. You read some old book by Oscar Wilde, somebody like that, and one nice line, pass it off as your own. <laughs> Inside, you'll have 100 followers saying, oh, wow, the world's of wisdom. <laughs> I think even for music, you know, many people get inspired listening to a piece, even, uh, even classical musicians for that matter. Oh, absolutely. You know, even their own, uh, the singing must be inspired by somebody, but... They never get like, they never get, get credit. I mean, gurus don't get credit nowadays. So, you know, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's the world that's we have uh, come to. So Because it's a continuum. Right? I learn from these people. They learn from some others. They learn from somebody. It goes back all the way to Paramashiva or whoever. But even the listening influence, how much I have taken from MD Ramnathan and Madhuri Muniya, for example. I'm full of MDR and Madhuri Muniya. They are not my gurus. But... They, they have kind of equal position like my gurus. Because so much I, I have learned, I'm continuing to learn also. So it's okay to, we can't, every phrase we can't say, this phrase is Madhuri, this phrase is MD now, that we can't do. But generally we can, especially while teaching, we can point our students, uh, I sing one Shanmuga Priya and I say, you listen to this Madhuri Amunay Shanmuga Priya, see how it is sung. Now it's easy, you can just forward the link and say, listen to them. Earlier, even 15 years ago, that was not possible. Okay. But it's up to the students to make use of that amazing facility which is available. Sure. Talking about MD Ramnathan, would you like to sing two lines of any any of your most, I can't say favorite because I'm sure all of his, uh, you know, all of his material would be your favorites. But mm. one, one piece, two lines of any song that is really influencing mm. you. This, uh, many people sing it now. 
but this is a composition in Raga Bhageshri, and that was the first time I heard the Raga Bhageshri. So, so, Prabhu So this is about Lord Vishnu. He is standing beautifully with Sri Devi and Bhu Devi on either side. So he says, Bhaga nicely, Sri Bhumi Sahitudai Vale. So Bhaga Sri. Oh, Bhaga Sri Bhumi Sahitudai Vale. Sri and Bhu Devi together, he is standing. So, and today, since our interviewer is also one Sri. <laughs> Bhagavad Gita. 